Chinese people believe that their culture has divine origins. China has a divinely inspired culture, no matter whether it's Chinese medicine, martial arts, writing or feng shui, they are all passed down by gods. Longfei Yang is a master of the Shanxi style praying mantis kung fu and a judge for NTD Television's International Chinese Martial Arts Competition. Yang says Chinese martial arts go far deeper than just fighting techniques. In martial arts, apart from training the body, raising one's moral character is essential. It is only when your morality is high that you can develop external techniques and innate abilities. Just making your body physically very strong doesn't mean that you're a true martial artist. This sense of morality in martial arts shows the deep connection of Chinese Kung Fu with religion. No matter whether it's the Shaolin Temple or the Taoist Wudong Mountain, they all have within their spiritual cultivation sets of martial arts techniques. From these come many amazing stories. There are also martial arts stories from society, and they all have a link to Buddhism or Taoism. Many of these stories are still told today, Stories like the Indian monk Da Moor crossing a river floating on a reed stalk and then meditating in a cave for nine years before teaching Kung Fu exercises to the monks at the Shaolin Temple. Or the story of the creator of Tai Chi boxing, Zhang San Feng, who's said to have lived for around 200 years due to the healing effect of his martial art. Even the Chinese characters for martial arts contain deep inner meanings. Since ancient times, the character for martial in Chinese has been made up of two components. The lower part means stop. The upper part is gu, which is a type of weapon in ancient times. So it actually means stop fighting and stop having conflicts. So martial arts are about raising one's moral character, not about fighting with somebody or contending with others. Yang used to practice external martial arts that did not emphasize moral cultivation until he met a master of the Shanxi style soft praying mantis system in China. That was in 1997. At the time, the master was already 62 years old. I looked at his age and his physical capabilities. Being in my 20s, I didn't take it to be anything special. I used my quick punches and kicks to spar with him, but I discovered that whenever I got close to him, his movements immediately changed direction and my attacks just hit empty space. Within a short time, I exhausted all my energy. All my movements and techniques were not equal to this old man. I realized I was missing the true teachings. So Yang studied diligently with this master. I discovered that in the structure of the body and in practicing the techniques, you've got to relax. Once you relax, you can become tranquil in your breath and your heart. Only then will there be huge changes in the essential movements, the structure of the body and the transitions between movements. This is the essence of Chinese martial arts. Yang hopes to revive this essence and to allow the public to experience China's divinely inspired culture via NTD Television's martial arts competition.